Hi, my name is Marcus and I made a script for DaVinci Resolve together with a friend that makes it really easy to zoom in really quick. I usually only do videos in Swedish but I think that this is good for the whole community so I'm gonna do this in English. I recently saw that Mr. Alex Tech did a video on snap zooms using multicam sequences and that is great for some use cases and the regular way is great for some use cases but the regular way is kind of slow and the multicam sequence has a setup to it. So I thought, why don't we use scripts? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I only have my media pool open and the timeline, and we don't have the inspector open. We don't need an inspector to use these scripts. The regular way for me to zoom in on my gameplay here is just to open the inspector and then zoom in right here to the desired length and then uh, open the transform tool and then just drag it around. And then you have the zoom and you move on. But in this way you have to have the inspector open and that takes kind of a lot of space. But if we close the inspector but still have the transform setting here, we can do this with scripts. So look at this. I have made three different scripts that make this zooming a lot easier. And you don't need all of them, but all of them kind of work together. So the first one is just click to zoom and it will zoom into the middle. And if you click more, it will zoom more. The next one is to reset all the things you have done. So it just resets to the start. That eliminates the use to go to this button here and reset all transform settings. And the third script doesn't really do anything in this case, but if you zoom in and then you want something on the edge and you have this black bar up here, then it can be kind of tricky to just align these uh, points up here. So the third script does this. And it does this on all sides, so even if I'm on the corner here and clamp it, then it clamps to the edge here. And this is really useful in specifically gameplay, where you have game UI elements and stuff on the edge, and you want to zoom in really far to just see those elements, and then just clamp it to the edge, so you don't have to, like, align the edges. So if I want to zoom in on the square here, I just have to zoom in a little bit, go here, clamp, and that's done. And of course you often don't want to do this on all tracks, this script only does it on track 1. So I have my face cam here that you have probably noticed, and it's on video track 2. And this script doesn't really need anything to be selected, it will just calculate what's on video track 1 under the cursor. So you don't have to have this one selected, you can be anywhere and it will zoom in on track 1. And you can select which video track it should use the scripts on. So how does it work? So I already said it's a script, so unfortunately it doesn't work on the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So you have to have the studio version. And to access scripts, you just go to workspace and go down to scripts. So I have key mapped these scripts to 3, 1 and 2. And you can set these key bindings up here in uh, keyboard customization. So if I click on one here, you can see that it uh, sets default zoom. And here are the other ones. And I can click 2 and 3 and I have the other scripts there. So if you have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve and you want to install this, go to the description of this video and download the scripts. Then you need to go to this folder up here, Program Data, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, and then Fusion. And then you get all these folders. Go into Modules, and then Lua. And here you put these two scripts, math.lua and util.lua. These are just accompanying scripts that are needed for the real scripts. And then go back to Folders, and then go into Scripts. And here you have some folders. You want this script to work on the edit page, so you go to edit, and here you put the rest of the scripts. If you haven't installed any scripts, this folder will be empty. I have this set color and save load test, but you won't see those. And all of these need a little bit of preparation. If we open clamp zoom, for example, so you can open this file in your preferred text editor, it doesn't need to be notepad++. But in here there's some settings we need to adjust. So first off up here we need to set the frame rate of your timeline, which mine is always 60, so I will always have this in 60. But you need to change this a lot if you change timelines a lot with different frame rates. And I don't know if there is a way to actually grab that from the timeline, that would kind of be great, then we can calculate it. Either way, right now it's 60, and the other number here is which video track you want it to affect. So in my case, my gameplay is always on the lowest video track, which is 1. But if you're using it in another way, then you can always put 2 or 3 or 4 here. The other two numbers we need to adjust here are these two, and that's the timeline resolution, but half of it. 
So these numbers here are for Full HD or 1080p. If you're working in 4K, you just need to half the width and half the height and put it in here. And that's it for this clamp script, but we have two more. So in zoom.lua, we also need to change the frame rate and uh, which video track. And then also how much you want to zoom on every increment. So every time you push the zoom button, how much do you want to zoom in? For me, 0.5 was pretty good, so I have it on that. And then for the last script, default zoom, we need to change the frame rate and track number again. And then we don't really need to change anything. If you don't want the default settings right here, to be changed but these are the default settings that davinci uses but i don't reset like crop and stuff so if you use a crop you can still zoom in and when you reset it won't reset the crop i don't want it to do that but if you want to do that you can also just write in crop and set that to zero and that's all you need to do then if you have davinci resolve open it doesn't matter you don't have to restart it you can just go to scripts and then test if the zoom works and if it zooms in then you know it's working and then you can go to DaVinci Resolve, keyboard customization, and put it on your keyboard shortcuts. And then you can edit really fast and also clamp it to the side so you don't ever go outside the borders. One note though, if you go backwards instead and have a smaller picture than your resolution, then it will work with the clamp, but in reverse. So if I go down here and I wanted to clamp it to this side, it jumps right here. So if you want a 2x2 two two picture in picture mode, uh, you have to go to the opposite corner and then clamp to clamp it to the side. So yeah, that's the script. And a couple of warnings. The script doesn't work if you're loading in a project. So if you just dragged something in, it will always prioritize the loading of that file before any script is run. So if you're noticing slowdowns or if it doesn't work at all, it's probably because you just opened a project or you put a lot of stuff in. I think it will actually go faster if you disable the, the previews because the previews will also get priority over the scripts. So now I can go like boom, 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 click this and go here, clamp, and then go here, clamp, boom, back. And now this clip in the middle here has a zoom in and the clip before it doesn't and the clip after it doesn't. So thank you for watching, I hope it helps and have a good one.